so good evening and welcome i think everyone who's here is here and those who aren't are somewhere else which is cool so let's come before the lord shall we The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so a moment of reflection on the day now past. And we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 143 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Mark chapter 13, verse 35 to the end of the chapter. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. What I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. And Father, as our day draws to its close, we come before you with all that it has been. We thank you for the blessings, the opportunities, the challenges. We thank you for the new people met and for familiar and loved ones united with again today. And Father, we pray that this night, as we bring all but the day has been before you as we prepare to go to our beds that you would take us you would bless us you would lead us to a place where we can lay all that this day has been down at your feet father god as we come this night with our burdens with our challenges with the things that we have in our hearts and minds as we give them to you we ask that you touch us that you be our healer you be our guide you be our comforter that you sustain us and protect us this night lord in your mercy hear our prayer and father as he College of Electors, the Electoral College, have begun to cast their votes. Father, we pray that all of the silliness that has been going on in America will now come to an end. We pray that America will, in this final act, find a united United States. And as we pray that, we pray the same for our United Kingdom. That, Lord, we would, though four nations be one, that we would work together. And, Father, as we pray for unity in our country, we pray as the UK and Europe talk that there would be something that works something that causes us to smile and to be united though separate with our european cousins lord in your mercy hear our prayer and we pray for peace in africa for stability in the far east in the middle east in latin america in Australia and in Asia. Father, for all that is happening in the world today, we lay it at your feet. And as we take to our beds, we ask that you would be God in the life of this world of ours, that you would break down barriers and divisions. Father, heal our broken world, we pray, and give leaders of governments and governments of the nations an integrity and a desire to work together for the good of all lord in your mercy 
hear our prayer. And as a new part of the virus story is enacted as London will be locked into a tier 3 by Wednesday, as there's a, a new strand of the Covid virus and as Matt Hancock, the health minister, comes and talks about all that is going on, as we talk about our fears and our confidence, as we make models, as we talk about things which might be. Father, we would rather than have that, to just live where we are, in what we are, effectively advised, caring for one another. Help us not to read the tea leaves, but to make the science and the actions of this nation work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those we know and love, for our friends, our families, our loved ones, our workmates and former workmates, colleagues, church members. Lord, you know who we know and what we pray for. So we lift to you those this night with cancers, those this night who need transplants, who need dialysis, who need the work of skilled clinicians to understand what is happening. We pray for those who are depressed, those who have mental health issues, those whose families are under threat, those whose jobs have gone or were going or have seen reduced hours such that bills cannot be paid. Lord, we bring all on our hearts now before you. We pray for the world and the people in it, for the people we know and for the places we don't. And we pray for ourselves also, asking that you, Lord, would stretch out your hand and bring your peace, your protection, and your sustaining love as we go to our beds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as tonight the church celebrates John of the Cross. We pray, O Lord, the judge of all, who gave your servant, John of the Cross, a warmth of nature, a strength of purpose and a mystical faith that sustained him even in the darkness. Shed your light on all who love you and grant them the union of body and soul in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And as we make our prayers, we pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts, show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. 
So guys, thank you for being with us. Sleep well, stay safe. May you wake refreshed. And may tomorrow be a blessing.